Hey there, I'm Jenna Wool, and I am the Director of Youth Ministries at Christ Church of Jackson. And I came across a study done not too long ago uh, where UCLA asked over 330 teens what they wanted to be when they grew up. And a third of those teens all had a similar response. Do you know what they said? Doctor? Teacher? Lawyer? Astronaut? None of the above. One in three teens said that they wanted to be famous. In our current world of social media, streaming platforms, and music festivals, we admire the movie stars, hit artists, and the influencers that are on our screens daily. They have made such an impression on us, especially our young people, that they want to follow in their footsteps. Fame is often portrayed as the ultimate achievement in this life. The appeal of being known and admired and celebrated can seem irresistible. But as tempting as having a star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame might be, it's important to remember that it is fleeting. Fame is fleeting. Fame is temporary. Celebrities who were once a household name can quickly be forgotten. Trends change and headlines shift from one thing to the next. The book of Ecclesiastes, I believe it captures this all too well. Solomon had everything a person could desire, wealth, wisdom, and fame. Yet in this book, he comes to the conclusion that all of it is meaningless. It's like chasing after wind, his words. With all that being said, being known and being loved by God is a source of everlasting joy and fulfillment. Psalm 139 describes just how well God knows each of us. He knows all of our thoughts, all of our actions, our hearts, and our intentions. And he knows us better than we even know ourselves. Now, this knowledge is deep, it's personal, and it's rooted in his love for us. Unlike the world's fleeting attention, God's attention, it's constant. Now, maybe you aren't like the 33% of teens in this study, and you have no desire at all to be famous or have a star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame. You are fine with being known only by your small community of people. And that's fine. But I bet you still care about what they may think about you. Caring about what other people think about us, it is a natural part of being human. We all have a desire to be accepted, to be valued and understood by those around us. But while caring about what other people think is normal, it's important to have a balance. The opinions of others can offer valuable insight and guidance, but they shouldn't define who we are. When we care too much about pleasing others, we can lose sight of what truly matters. Galatians 1.10, it says this, it says, Am I now trying to win the approval of human beings or of God? Am I trying to please people? If I'm trying to please these people, I would not be a servant of Christ. This verse clearly tells us where our true focus ought to be. It challenges us to examine our motivations and our motives and ask ourselves whether we're living to gain the approval of others or to gain the approval of God. In our daily lives, it can be easy to get caught up in the need to please people. We want to be liked. We want to be respected and admired. But Paul reminds us that if our primary goal is to please people, we're missing the mark as servants of Christ. Being a servant of Christ means prioritizing his approval over anyone else's. It means aligning our actions our thoughts and our desires with God's good and perfect will. And I'll warn you right now, it isn't always easy, nor is it the coolest thing to do all the time. It's definitely not going to win us 
praise from others. But that's exactly the point. This verse encourages us to live boldly, live boldly for Christ, knowing that his opinion is the only one that truly matters. His opinion is the only one that matters in this life and the life to come. When we focus on our pleasing on pleasing God rather than others, we find a deeper purpose and a lasting joy that the world's approval cannot offer to us. So, I challenge you. This is a challenge. Let us find our identity not in fleeting fame, but in the eternal truth that we are fully known and fully loved by God. Let us strive not to please people, but to charm Christ.